Big game at the Garden last night with the Knicks taking down the Lakers 113-109 in OT. How great was it to have some legitimate hoops buzz at MSG with the Knicks raising their record to 14 and 13? Of course, powered by none other than Christos Porzingis, 37 points, 11 rebounds, five blocks. He's a beast. But it wasn't just KP. Frank Nilakina played some great D down the stretch. And Michael Beasley comes alive in overtime. And the Knicks keep it going at home in front of a crazy crowd at the Garden. Michael, Knicks, Lakers at the Garden. The stars come out. Remind you of something, does it? Nick basketball, where not only the fans are enjoying it, but the players seem to be enjoying it as well. And we weren't just excited about the, 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 the rival opponent coming in. It wasn't just, oh, we're going to see LeBron, oh, we're going to see Kyrie. Our team was out there. We have our star. They have their young star. The Knicks showed out. Everybody was there. It was an overtime game. Not that much defense from either team, but it was it was exciting. It was I, I feel very optimistic about the Knicks. See, I felt Neil Aquina is the one guy who does play defense. Yes, shut down he defense. He does. He really stopped Ball, who got on a little bit of a roll there. Yep. And I like him a lot. Everybody talks about KP being the future of the team. Neil Aquina right along with him, but I know you like the guy who Neil Aquina is backing up right now and Jared Jack. Jared Jack, in my opinion, is this sort of the the the, the sleeper of the Knicks. He brings uh, a, a grit. He's a vet. Neil Aquina is his rookie. And I think that Jared Jack is a guy that no one's talking about that I think that he brings a lot of he brings a reputation and a professionalism to the New York Knicks. Now, KP, dominant game last Great. night. I mean, there's the unicorn at his best. He looked fantastic out there. But other Knicks stepping up, too. I mean, KP did his thing. But when you see what Michael Beasley does, you wonder, if only this guy could do it for 48 minutes and not in these, these short bursts. But that's really been his career since he left college as a top five pick. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're ever going to get the Michael Beasley that you want all the time because it's... It's historically for his career, it hasn't been the case. But if he can show up when they need him and just be there and be tough and score baskets and just for the most part be, be as good as he could possibly be, the Knicks, the Knicks are vastly improved. And, and for me, the thing about the Knicks that I've noticed is that they're having fun. There's a cohesiveness, win, lose, or draw. It just feels like a real team that, that is going forward. There's forward motion to the team. And for the last few years, even when they were winning, it was like, okay, they won a few games. But this team, like, you just feel like there's light and there's, there's sort of like we're going forward. And you have, like, a core. Porzingis is ridiculous. He's ridiculous when he's healthy. We'll get into that when a little bit later. But you directed that 30 for th Emmy winning 30 for 30. That's correct. When the Garden was when in. Emmy winning. And have you ever polished my Emmy? I, I've never seen your Emmy. Actually. I, I have it. Next time I'll bring it. Maybe you can little, go give it a little scrub. Yeah, put little it right on the table here. Yeah, you just give it a little polish. All I got right. a special polish for it. Well, let me ask you this. With the Lakers coming to town, magic in the crowd, has the Garden started to get that feeling back as this is really the biggest, you know, the most fantastic arena in all of sports? Because I think over the past few years, that luster's worn off a little. Bit. Last night was an indication of what is potentially to come. Madison Square Garden is always going to be the world's most famous arena. It's the, the last arena in the NBA that has all its history intact. There is no fabulous forum. There is no Boston Garden. The Smoothie King arena, arena in New Orleans, these places are, they're a joke. Okay, so when the Garden is rocking and the Knicks are rocking, it's the greatest seat. It's the greatest place to play basketball. And, and when you're not just watching the other guys come in to kick our butt, it's like uh, it's like the old days. Now, did you get a little wrangled because the Ball family was in the house? I didn't get wrangled. I just think that my, my whole thing with LeVar Ball and the Ball family is like, it sucks the air out of the room. I mean, it was good for that night, but it's like tomorrow night we're going to hear about him. The next night we're going to hear about it. It's just like this ever-ending circus. So I, I have mixed feelings about them. Like last night it made sense. It's just that we're going to hear about it next Tuesday afternoon. And then like Sunday, it's like nonstop. It's like 365 days a year.